So, you love Japan and you want to stay in Japan for longer than 90 days at a time, but you're frustrated with the job searching process in Japan and can't seem to find an employer who's willing to sponsor you a visa. What if I told you that there is a visa that will let you stay in Japan as long as you want? No, you don't have to find a Japanese national to marry you for a spousal visa. So in this video, we're going to discuss a great visa option that may help you stay in Japan for as long as you want. This might be your key to make Japan your new business home. And be sure to watch the video until the end because I have an exciting announcement that will help you start a rental property business or buy your dream home in Japan. If you're new here, my name is Shu. In this channel, I talk about real estate investing, financial freedom, and Japan. If you enjoy the content on my channel, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. It really helps the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Before I start, I have a special gift for you. If you want to learn how to buy a property in Japan as a foreigner, I have a free guide that will help you own your dream house or get started with real estate investing in Japan. Click the link below in the description. All right. Let's get started. So which visa lets you stay in Japan for as long as you want? It's called a business manager visa. Mind you, this is not for everyone. This is a great option for a business owner or an entrepreneur who has a certain amount of capital to start a business in Japan. And if that's not you, I recommend you to watch this video where I talk about other ways to get a visa to stay in Japan. There is one condition to stay in Japan forever through this visa. You need to make sure your business keeps running in Japan. So why would you choose Japan to start a business? Here are a few reasons. Large stable economy with a GDP of around $5 trillion and one of the world's highest per capita incomes, the strength of the Japanese economy is still exceptional. Innovative people housing some of the world's most recognizable companies like Toyota, Sony, Nintendo, and Canon, Japan has long been a country full of people with imagination and innovation. As a whole, the Japanese are extremely hardworking, so if you hire the right people, there is a good chance your business will grow. Ages Gateway There are some challenges to the creation of a business in Japan, but from what I understand, it is far easier to establish a presence here than it is in countries like China. You'll find that not only do you have access to an audience of 125 million people, but there's also a foothold to develop that can take you to the rest of Asia. Japan needs more entrepreneurs. Today, entrepreneurship is still considered quite rare in Japan. It's because people here are conditioned to be good employees from an early age. And that's exactly why we need more entrepreneurs here to revitalize the economy. So if you have what it takes, you're that much more likely to succeed in Japan. With that said, what exactly is a business manager visa? It's for foreign nationals who establish a company and run the business in Japan. The good news is that there are no restrictions on the contents of the business and your nationality. In other words, Japan doesn't care who you are, where you're from, and what you do, as long as you build a successful business. Wait a second, that sounds like a Backstreet Boys song. Yeah, I grew up in the 90s. Anyhow, at first, you start out with a one-year visa. After that, you can extend up to five years as many times as you want, again, as long as your business is running. So there are mainly five requirements for you to apply for a business manager visa. First is location of operations. Your business activities must take place in Japan. One of the conditions for this is having a dedicated space, such as an office or a store equipped with the necessary office equipment, supplies, and furniture for conducting management and operations. Second, company size requirement. You need to have at least five million yen or about $34,000 as an initial paid in capital or you need at least two employees and you only need to meet one of these requirements for the company size. Third, business plan requirements. You need to submit a clear and sustainable business plan. Fourth, your experience. You need to have three or more years of experience in business management. This can include the number of years you measured in a subject related to business or management work at graduate school, not undergrad. And if you majored in a subject for more than three years. So technically, you don't need to have practical experience running a business to obtain this visa. And finally, company office. You need to have a registered office under a lease agreement. To set up a business in Japan, it is fine to register your business with a virtual office or co-working space, but to get a business manager visa, you need to have a physical office with four walls. As I mentioned before, with this visa, you can live in Japan for as long as you have a successful business. You can do any type of legal business like online business, real estate, food and beverage, retail, tourism, and teaching. What if you have a family? If you have a business manager visa, your spouse and or children can apply for a Japanese family visa. It's a visa issued to the dependent spouse or child of a foreign national with an employment visa or a management visa to live together. The child can attend 
school in Japan after receiving a family visa. You can choose from Japanese public or private schools or international schools. So you got a business manager visa, congratulations. But the question remains, how can you maintain your visa status? The most important point is to have a successful business. The government will look at your company's performance to ensure that your business is in good shape to renew your visa. You also are going to want to spend a significant amount of time in Japan running your business. If you're out of the country for a long period of time and are rarely in Japan, the renewal of the business manager visa may be denied. So be sure to come back to Japan as often as you can if you need to travel abroad frequently. When you renew, you have an option to renew for one year, three years, or five years. And you can renew as many times as you'd like. After 10 years, you can apply for a permanent residence visa. So what kind of a business owner or entrepreneur is this visa good for? Let's think of this from the Japanese government's perspective. Why would Japan issue a working visa for foreigners? Japan wants you to stimulate the economy, make a positive impact on society. So if you know how to build a business, whether it's an online business or a teaching business, you're stimulating Japan's economy. Maybe you buy real estate and build a portfolio or buy an existing business and grow it. What's great about this visa is that you don't have to look for an employer to sponsor you. You're not dependent on others. As long as you have the skills and the grit to be successful as a business owner, you can sponsor yourself a visa to stay in Japan. But shoot, that's easy for you to say. Isn't starting a business in Japan really hard, especially for a foreigner? Yes, entrepreneurship is filled with ups and downs and everything in between, regardless of where you are. And it takes someone with a strong constitution to commitment to becoming successful. So this is definitely not for everyone, but it's a great option for anyone who's highly independent and willing to do whatever it takes to make a business successful in Japan. I hope you found this information helpful. If you're considering this in the future, I highly recommend you to get local support who can help you. I'll link useful resources about this topic in the description below. Before I wrap up, I have an exciting announcement. Since my interview with Colin from Kick Assets, I have changed the way I view Japanese real estate. I used to be a skeptic, but now I'm an advocate. So I decided to join forces with Colin to help foreigners purchase property in Japan. For the last few months, we've been working on creating the most comprehensive course about how to buy a property in Japan as a foreigner. It's packed with so much valuable information and Colin will be the main teacher to share his knowledge with you. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe to this channel and at Kick Assets for more information in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more educational content. And as always, if you have any questions or want to learn more about any topic, just let us know in the comments below. And be sure to watch this video next for more. See you in the next one.